Welcome back to another edition of This Week in Three Minutes. I've called this one Seasons, and for good reason. This, uh, this Wednesday was, uh, for the Northern Hemisphere, was our for, uh, the, what, the first day of spring. So spring is here in, se in terms of seasons. We got a little bit of a skiff of snow today, but, um, you know, we're, we're heading towards warmer weather. Thank God it's been a long, long winter here in Canada. And uh, just the same for gold investors. It's been a long, long winter since 2013. Uh, for gold in most currencies. It's been up the last five years in Canadian dollars, but uh, we still haven't quite got to where we are. I think we're uh, 1750 or so was the peak in Canadian dollar terms. I think maybe there was higher on an intraday, but we're around the 1740 mark in Canadian dollar terms. And in US dollar terms, we're holding nicely above 1300. Um, looks to me like spring is, is here for gold. Um, now, however, typically speaking of seasons, gold is uh, usually doesn't do very well in March. I saw a few technical traders move out because of the seasonal aspect to, to gold and what they w were watching in the, in the other asset classes. But uh, no, gold's held nicely through this month. I mean, it's still a little early. What is it, the 22nd today? Um, still a little bit left of March to go, but usually April, May, it starts to it starts to really move up. So I'm optimistic for that as I'm looking at things affecting other asset classes, which are likely to direct uh, demand for gold. And namely, I'm talking about a, a dramatic decline in, in the shipment of goods around the world since the fall. It's been a 43% decline in the Baltic Dry, indicating that there's 43% less demand to ship goods around the world. So I don't know, maybe one, everyone's all inventoried up, they don't need any more, or it's a trade sanction thing, I don't, or maybe it's just a seasonal aspect to supply and demand, I don't know. Uh, I do know that uh, there's some risk in, in the credit rating of a couple different countries, not the least of which here is in Canada. Fitch is actually warning us that we're on the verge of potentially losing our AAA rated sovereign, uh, uh, credit rating as a result of being the, the sovereign with the highest amount of debt to GDP, uh, which seems strange to me, but uh, I've got to look more into it, but apparently that's the warning from Fitch. The, the German bonds were given a downgrade and now they're into negative territory. Uh, I thought when things got riskier, the interest rates went up. So uh, the whole thing is quite baffling, but the bottom line is seasons that uh, play out in different asset classes can often be negatively correlated, which we've seen with gold against other asset classes. And that long winter that us gold bugs have, uh, and gold investors have had to endure appears to be ending. Um, it's not over yet, uh, but it sure as heck looks like we're about to get out of that nasty cold winter we've been in for so long, unless you happen to be Japanese, which troubles and baffles me at the same time. If you look back to 2012 to today in terms of gold price and Japanese yen, it's barely fluctuated. I gotta look more into that, but uh, in any case, Looks like uh, spring is about to be here for those of us in the gold business as there's less gold being found, discovered, dug up, and so on. More demand. Uh, it only bodes well for the supply of the, uh, for the price of the metal and for those of us who own this asset class. So if you've been waiting to maybe add a little bit more, looks like now might be a good time. So on that note, have a great weekend. See you next Friday.